And we're about to go mad into the Mad Mage. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode with Man Man, and today we've got Adventure Time. Now, this is not the cartoon, this is the deck. We've got Nadar, Selfless Paladin, and all of the Adventure Friends. We got between Barwin of the Clan Undor, Hama Pashar, which doubles your dungeon triggers, Triumphant Adventurer, because this is Adventure Time, you gotta run the Adventurer, Perceptuous Drop, it's kind of hard to say, but I'll try anyway, Yuan T. Malison, I don't know if I said that right, but we got the gargoyle we also have kaya the inexorable but uh basically this is just an esper type of like mid-range kind of aggro-y type of dungeon deck but before we get into the gameplay make sure to leave a like the button looks just like this and make sure to subscribe if you have not already and let's get ready to vanquish some enemies Mojo Jojo, how we doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this. The uh, I think the hardest part about this deck is definitely balancing the mana because especially if you're going to be running Dungeon Descent, this is a very restrictive, so that kind of gets a little bit challenging sometimes. But um, let's go ahead and set out the black, then we can got the white, and then it can at least figure out. We can at least we're not too stressed out for now. Snow covered swamp, a shambling boy. Okay, shambling gas is kind of annoying, but it's uh, okay. Nothing we haven't seen before or anything. So, yeah, I think we just go right for the Triumphant Adventure. I guess the Shambling Gas can trade with us, though, so that's kind of annoying. Let's go ahead and do it anyway. Maybe we, um... Yeah, I'm not too sure what we're going to do. I'm not too sure what we're going to do. If they use the minus one, minus one on the Adventurer, at least they don't get the treasure token. So, I mean... I mean, we're still, we can't just, like, not play it. That's not an option. I Twitch, okay. And another Shambling Gas. So, we are not looking too good here. Even if we wanted to use Vanishing Verse on the, on the I Twitch... Or the the gas rather, we're still gonna we're still gonna die to this thing. So, I think we just drop the dungeon descent, or we could go for blue here. Let's just just go for Nadar here. And now, see this this is the thing against control. Tomb is the best. If you need a land, I think just getting the immediate scry is the best here. And then this has the most upside if you're in it for the long run. I think we're probably in this game for the long run. So I'm just gonna go for dungeon of the mad mage. We're gonna gain some life here, and gosh, I don't even know if I really want to even attack here. We could scry, but again, these these are just such such bad matchups. Uh, I guess we'll do it. We're gonna we're gonna do it. So let's go ahead and scry. Maybe we can find like an answer or something. A Forsaken Crossroads. I don't think that's gonna do it. I guess we'll we'll go ahead and ditch that. We have four lands already. We do have a blue source as well, so we're not really starved for anything. And if they take the Shambling Gas and kill our adventurer. Perfect little um, combat trade for them, unfortunately. But maybe they take the treasure token. It's a catch-22. Okay, so they, it's a catch-22. They don't get the treasure token this way. So maybe they can't ramp into like a lolth or something. Down to a field of ruin. Field of ruins. Um, a callus of blood mage. What, this thing does like three different things, right? Draw a card, lose a life. Eh, okay. I mean, this card, I haven't seen this card in like a hot second. But uh, it is still a card, that is for sure. Okay, we do have Nadar. My darling Nadar. I think we're just going to create a treasure token. I'm going to actually just swing in here. And see what they do. Let's react Let's react to what they do. We've got, I think this is, this is Jake the dog, knows the dragon. Uh, let's just pretend it's a dog. This is adventure time. So let's go ahead and create a treasure token. Don't really care about having them attack or anything. So the Blood Mage is going to block, and then they've got the Ghast. Ghastly? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just Vanishing Verse. I want to save our Nadar, and plus they don't. If we exile the Shambling Ghast, now they don't get any treasure tokens or anything. So it just becomes a Chump Block. That just becomes a Chump Block, which is wonderful. And let's see. Do we go for the Gargoyle or the Adventurer? I mean, this is Adventure Time, so I think, I think that kind of just says itself, right? Oh, well, actually, yeah, because this is colorless, I think we're just going to have to drop this for... Let's drop this for white and then go for the, the, the gargoyle here. I know it is it is adventure time. We'll get into the adventure. Don't you worry about that. So, scry for two. We've got a Kaya and a fly. We do have a blue source here. Okay, I don't think the fly is that strong. Is it when it attacks or deals not combat damage? Okay, I think we'll just keep this. That seems pretty good to me, right? A Kaya and a fly. I like the fly. And I like Kaya, so I, we'll, we'll go ahead and keep that. So let's see what behooves you, Mojo Jojo. 
They got the eye twitch. They are. You have to be careful because with snow covered swamps or snow covers, they can be running uh, blood in the snow, which is pretty nerve wracking. Okay, so we do get our Kaya, and Kaya's really good here. I think they probably have a deadly dispute, so I don't think I really want to use the Kaya to exile something. I'm gonna drop this for blue. We're gonna need that for the fly, because we fly high, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Kaya here, and yeah, it's just too it's too risky here to use the exile ability. So I think they just probably have a um, a deadly dispute. The job is wrong. I changed the terms. So let's go ahead and put this on the Dar. So whenever this dies or is put into exile, that's what I love about Kaya. Even if it gets exiled, it doesn't matter. We still get our replacement effect. So we do kind of protect ourselves that way. I got you. I got you. Hey, I appreciate you, Kaya. You got my back. I got your back. So let's go ahead and swing in here. Take another. We're descending into a Mad Mage. And we actually can't do anything with here. So that is unfortunate. But let's go ahead and use the two Black Skeleton Creature Tokens. Maybe we... Yeah, we probably... Um, we definitely could have um, used that before Kaya. But let's be honest. There's nothing better. I know for a fact there's nothing better in our deck than Kaya right now. So we might as well just play the Kaya rather than use this. Do they have the Deadly Dispute? No. So they don't have the Deadly Dispute, but they still have the Dockside Chef. So... Um, yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. They are starved for, for some mana here, because they do have environmental sciences. So I guess we're just kind of playing the, uh, the aggro game here, but unfortunately this dungeon of the Mad Mage, if we, especially if they don't have any sort of, like, removal, we're gonna be able to fly here. We're gonna be able to fly real high. And we can even give one of these skeleton creature tokens one of our, um, fly abilities. Kaya's down to a minus seven. Kaya's ultimate minus seven actually can go off in what three turns after it's played because it starts at five and then six seven and then the minus seven so once you get the minus seven it's pretty much game over because there's no escaping because you can cast it from your hand graveyard or exile so even if they exile you're still just going to be able to just keep just spamming value over and over i twitch these i twitches are annoying how many weenies you got here this is just like weenie central is this is this weenie hut jr well, this is Adventure Time. So we got Adventure Time versus Weenie Hut Jr. We do get our fly, which is nice. Um, I think my fly is about down. So close your gargoyle. I want to. So if we swing in here, I don't think we'll be able to have that, right? Let's go for fly on. Let's at least just do it on the maybe. Hold on. To the owner's hand. I think we can use the Kaya and put it on. I'll just put it on the gargoyle. I mean, these are tokens, so we obviously can't. How do we want to play this here? Trust me. We can go for Dungeon of the Mad Mage. If we use Dungeon Descent on the Nadar, but we can't really do that right now. So I think what we're going to do is probably just put this on Nadar. It's not great. I know that it's not phenomenal. I know that's not phenomenal, but we can't really, we can't really, I don't really want to use it on the skeleton because they just like chump block the skeleton. So let's swing in with, um, let's swing in with this. I don't want to get chumped out with this yet. So we're kind of sitting a little awkward here, but we do get to scry, which is beautiful. A more Nadar. Ooh, this is actually kind of bad because I don't really want another Nadar. So, ew, I'll put that, all that away. That's kind of yucky. Nadar already has protection from Arkaya. They're probably just going to chump block, which is, you know, assumed already. But here's the thing. We have descended into the Mad Mage, and we're about to go mad into the Mad Mage. Learn? Okay, so that's fine. But we're going to be able to cast one of these without paying the mana cost, which is just wonderful. So let's drop our Triumph Adventure. It is Adventure Time. It is Adventure Time, make no mistake. Let's go ahead and use Dungeon Descent on Nadar. And here we go, baby. It is time to go mad. Draw three cards. You may cast one of them without their mana cost. We go for Malison or Adventurer. Gosh, if they, they don't have blood in the snow just yet, right? So I think we're just going to go for Adventurer. And now our entire board gets buffed because of the Paladin. So as long... Yeah, they can't go into blood on the snow. They're just short of the mana sources here. If they go for Necrotic Fumes, we get our Nadar back. So, we've kind of built up a really good board here. We also are sitting on Spell Pierce for that dreaded Blood on the Snow, if they have it. 
And then I, yeah, and then duh, even Kaya has the minus seven. So we're gonna get an emblem where we get the beginning of your upkeep cast a legendary spell from your hand, graveyard, or exile. <laughs> oh boy, Mojo Jojo. I'm I'm no Powerpuff Girl, but Mojo Jojo, you are on your last legs here. I think we'll see. Let's go and slide this down. So what you gonna do? Are you gonna go for my Kaya? Um, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do here. They aren't taking the time, which is totally fine. This is a puzzle. You have to figure out the puzzle, you know? There's Soren. Okay, we can actually spell pierce the Soren, actually. And I think I'm going to. You might as well. We do have this treasure token. Let's bust the treasure token. They are just short of mana. I know it's a little risky because they have blood on the snow in their deck, I'm assuming. But... I don't know. I'm thinking. We're, I'm getting a little antsy. I think we're gonna we're gonna counter that. I don't really want to deal with it with that. And now we have Kaya's minus seven that can go off. Woo wee! I I am not feeling good if I were you. So let's see what we can do here now. I think I think we can just kind of be aggressive. So we can one two. How many triggers can we have? One two. Three four. They can't. They can't actually. Um, Man, this is kind of risky. This is kind of risky, though. I think we're just going to pop this to be safe, because we could exile the, the Eye Twitch. And then have Nadar just fly in, which would be really cool. But um, I think it's a little too risky. There's no reason. We have kind of a good board state. I don't think there's really any reason to get crazy here. So I kind of want to just go for two of Annihilation. Just start, like, whacking at their life here. I mean, sure. Each player loses one life, and I just kind of want to be aggressive. So target player loses two life once they discard. Um, I actually don't think we have to. I'll just I'll just lose the life. I just think we have to be aggressive here. And lose more life. Uh, new. No. That is a firm no. So they are going to be, what, chump blocking here? That's kind of interesting. I don't, I'm not really sure why they're doing that. And they actually just let us win. I, we don't even get to use Kaya. We just take the win. I will take it, though. Adventure Time City, baby.